honored to be at the seventh edition of the Tech Munch. And today we have ITMA. We started ITMA more than a decade back. So our uh, India Digital Marketing Awards will happen tomorrow. This year we got a record uh, record number of entries, which mirrors the growth of digital. I can see my friend Mr. Karthi Martian enjoying life. Uh, so when I grow up, I want to be like you, Karthi. Uh, I also want to use this opportunity to welcome our keynote speaker. You'll hear him in a while. Dr. Arvind Gupta, who's been part of the uh, policy making framework in the digital ecosystem, he used to be CEO of Digital India, uh, of, uh, you know, MyGov, and uh, he's contributed to where we are. Yesterday, we, you know, we lost a friend uh, in Amresh Murthy. Amresh was a regular speaker at E4M conferences, and um, I hope and pray that his family has the strength to bear his loss. And the reason I'm mentioning this, and I met my friend Sunil, who's our president at Exchange for Media, and I was talking to him about health and walking and sleep. Today in the second half, uh, we have our Exchange for Media Health Marketing Summit and Health Marketing Awards. Uh, uh, three years back, we started health marketing, you know, conference and awards. Health is the most important thing. Sometime in the midst of building the digital businesses or whatever we are doing, we forget about our health. We forget about our sleep. Uh, I think quality of sleep determines everything else. And my life revolves around my sleep. I came last night so that I could sleep well and be fresh for the conference. So I, I do want you to focus a lot on your health. That's my mantra for myself while I enjoy working. Coming to today's theme of how India is growing. I'm going to borrow from Mr. Arvind Gupta. I was at a conference with him organized by I am Sambalpur and he talked about the value of good. Uh, and since then I've used it in my editorial. I used it at FinTech Forum and other people also referred to it. I'm also going to show it. This is not a presentation that I made. Mr. Nandan Nilkani made this presentation at a forum a couple of weeks back. But it does contextualize what uh, we're going to talk at Tech Munch. First of all, the, there is no doubt that India is the fastest growing nation in terms of economy. There's no doubt that our digital universe is the biggest in the world. There is no doubt that we have domestic cons consumption like no other country. There is no doubt that the fundamentals of what the government is building is uh, digital infrastructure are very strong and the government is committed and uh, just to give you a context uh, can I have a uh, or if you can run it for me uh, Sagar just to give you a context of where we are because we cannot talk of uh, digital in isolation of so first of all uh, all 30 plus years back 40 plus years back we would talk of balance of payment crisis. Uh, since 2021, our foreign exchange reserves are growing. Today, we are at $700 billion of foreign exchange reserves. $700 billion in growing. Now, that's quite an achievement. Uh, also, in 2008, India was the world's most unbanked uh, nation. We still have a long way to go. We are underpenetrated in insurance. We are underpenetrated in banking. But banking in a different way has uh, come to India. Uh, and whatever has been achieved in the last one decade, uh, traditionally we would have taken 47 years to grow. And the growth of WhatsApp and the growth of payment platforms has really made our financial economy inclusive. Also, uh, the reason uh, we are consuming so much content on all devices, we may not be teenagers anymore, but we are screenagers. Some of you can sit here. Uh, so the price of data is falling exponentially and the use of smartphones has of course grown, we know that. Most importantly, in the last six years, we have become the world's highest volume of digital payments. As Dr. Arvind Gupta will talk to you about, there is a value of innovation, there is a value of wealth creation, it is a Silicon Valley. Then there is a value of surveillance, which is in China, they do surveillance on everybody in the world. And India, whether it's through a UPI, uh, originally through Aadhaar, 
then through UPI, now attempting through ONDC or COVID, you know, the number of vaccines uh, administered post-COVID. We are really growing. As you know, our UPI platform is being adopted by other countries, France, I can go on multiple countries. So, and this is growing. Um, we delivered 2.5 billion vaccine doses in just two years. Now this happened, we had a simple app that helped us do that. So this is the value of public good that is uh, really helping the consumers and the citizens. Uh, and India is making irreversible non-linear changes. Once we get used to a certain um, behavior or a tool, we are not going to go back to tools uh, that don't give us that, you know, comfort or utility or in some cases also give us a price advantage. So each change is acting as an input to the next. It is leading to uh, a combined innovation. And the biggest change is the government's proactiveness in building a digital public infrastructure. And uh, again, we've talked of DBT, you know, while we talk of India, there is a Bharat, there is a rural economy, and that is very important when it comes to the growth for all brands and businesses. Now, clearly, uh, the direct benefit transfer to low-cost bank accounts is, has a direct impact on how the economy does. And I, it's a very long presentation. I don't want to use all the slides, but I do want you to focus on this slide. When Nandan is talking about, in India, advertising dollars cannot sub subsidize the creation of platforms. India needs to build its own micro transaction economy for India 2 and India 3, that is tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Really, that's where, I mean, if you look at global ad spend in dollars per capita, we are among the lowest. And for a country like us, those spends have to be much more. And I'm sure they will catch up. I will halt this presentation here now, and I will talk to you about if you look at the pitch Madison advertising outlook that we bring out every year, the share of digital is growing. And over the next two years, from the current 20 plus percent, the share of digital in advertising will be close to 40 percent. That is what our projection is. Now, if all advertising, 40 percent of our advertising dollars are going to be digital, then clearly digital is the mass media. The worries about digital are about chatbots, worries uh, about the quality of traffic. Also, as a publisher, in our minds, in spite of us building whatever we built, I talk about the publisher community, uh, the monopolies, there are two monopolies that continue to rake in all the moolah. How do we, as the DNPA, the Digital News Publishers Association, uh, we are uh, doing everything to be able to get our fair share from the publishers. Also, what is happening, the lines between what is advertising, what is e-commerce are blurring. Uh, brands are becoming truly omni-channel, even in the digital space. So the next few years are about, as India grows digitally, the digital advertising ecosystem is bound to grow. Also, the Indian digital advertising ecosystem is getting nuanced, more and more data, tools, insights, and past uh, intelligence is being used to pick the right platforms. Numbers are always important in any business. In digital, numbers are important. But increasingly, the quality of audiences, the quality of engagement, and in some cases, uh, a direct correlation between advertising and purchase is being established through digital tools that augurs well for an ecosystem that is getting to be 40% in the next two years. I just want to say that in exchange for media, we started 22 plus years back, almost 23 years back, to build a B2B e-commerce company by building a marketplace to bring all media brands together, a commerce one or an EBA for the media industry. We were ahead of time then. Maybe now is the time to build a marketplace. All the players understand the power of digital. There are tools and the complete value system can be mapped on a platform. Uh, at Exchange for Media, we've been uh, chronicling and been a positive catalyst in the journey of, uh, of many businesses, brands in the digital space. 
tech merch and nidma are forums to be able to celebrate the good work that many brands and businesses are doing in this space uh, like all our awards our awards are done through a jury process and at some stage you will see the nidma jury um, mr harish but of uh, tata sons was a jury chair uh, and he was supported as co jury chairs by amit singhle of asian paints mr amit singhle of asian paints and uh, many other leaders of uh, this stature i can only say when you see the kind of work being awarded at idma tomorrow to tomorrow night we have the idma here and over the two days of tech munch today and tomorrow you will see that the brands that have got digital mastery are also winning in the marketplace tech munch is not only a place to connect but is to be is a, is a platform to be able to get new insights uh, of what's happening in the digital domain and as we er enter an era of artificial intelligence and web3 the lines between what is metaverse what is web3 what is physical space are blurring all are working in conjunction with each other and are contributing to the growth of the digital uh, ecosystem and landscape in india as the digital ecosystem grows more and more new players will emerge some of them will be regional players and uh, more and more money uh, is being put into digital players while there is a winter of investing uh, even in that uh, the digital players or the digital only players are growing in the last four years the phenomenon of d2c platforms and d2c brands has grown uh, d2c brands to, uh, brands are becoming mainstream while they grew by using digital in a big way they are using mainstream media to grow their brand to the next level while continue to grow their spends on digital they are also using uh, physical retail and are truly becoming omni channel so i just want to end by saying that the more the digital grows the value of human touch face to face interactions and you know physical will grow in a world where touch and feel are important while digital may be a tool that works in conjunction with or other available tools to be able to provide a certain experience i don't think uh, the digital only is the way forward digital is an important tool which maximizes advertising spends and most importantly helps us track the journey from brand recall to brand purchase it also is a very important tool to be able to map the consumer behavior of brand of citizens and consumers towards brands i wish you two days of learning connectivity and new insights and hopefully you will be able to use them to build your businesses better thank you god bless you